Hey guys, George Chief from the Wagon here. Today we're gonna do a pretty simple video. It's gonna be fixing this annoying discussion right there. The problem with these is they're stainless steel and it's very hard to bend the tabs on the back side to make it fit nice into your deck lid. So I'm gonna show you a quick little hack that I do to make everything work right. So this is all you're gonna need. We have an M8 by 125, 30 millimeter in length. I got two M8 fender washers. And this right here, anybody who does carburetor install is gonna recognize that one. That is an M8 by 125, but it's only a 10 millimeter outer. Um, you can use a regular bolt, but you'll have trouble getting the socket in there once you see what I'm doing here. So you can pick these up. MP sells them in like a four pack for carbs. They're super expensive, like two bucks a bolt, something like that. But this little setup right here, you notice I got a little bit of cut on that one right there. And if you see this dude here, you see that's got a little relief in it as well. It'll all make sense once I show you how I set it up. We're gonna remove this lock mechanism right here. And that way we have access to that hole right there. And that's where we're gonna be tightening this dude up. So we have one, two, three, four. Like I said, those won't return. So we're just gonna be taking those two out right there. Like a Boy Scout, we're gonna leave it better than we found it. We're gonna put two more pieces of hardware in there. I like it. We got different size ones in there. Long and short. So we're going to be working through this hole right here. Let me see if I can get the camera in there to show you the innards of that guy. All right, you can see the two tabs that sit on the back of it that get folded over the deck lid. And that's why Some flashlight mouth action right there. That's why that sucker's like that. All right, so when we're gonna put it in, we're gonna also straighten that up so that is directly on top. That you want pointing upward. That's why we have this washer relieved as such because when this thing is open, it's gonna be holding that open. And that's why I have that bolt relieved as well because it's going to be resting up against there. This is going to stay stationary. This side stays stationary. It's going to be holding that flap up in that direction. We're going to be doing the tightening from the back side on that 10 millimeter nut that I showed you. All right, first order of business is to put it in there. So first I put my bolt through my washer and I'm going to put it in there. Once it's in there, that thing is staying open. Turn that sucker so it lines up, and that one over there so it lines up. And I think we're good on that. Now we're going to attack it from the back side. So I got to get this washer inside there. This is the only difficult part of this. And another thing that's difficult is I'm using a stainless washer because I'm trying to bend stainless with it. If I had a thicker washer, it would probably do the same thing, but I don't. So I have a stainless washer, it's a little stronger than your normal mild steel. And that's what I'm using, but it's a little tricky because you got to get it in there and then get it over underneath there and up. So I'm going to be using this 90 degree pick to get that washer over where I want it. I got to pick my bolt up just a little bit to get this washer into position. All right, so I have my 10 millimeter nut here. I'm gonna use a nut driver on it so I can place, and the nice thing about this 10 millimeter is it's flanged, so it sits in there like that. It's pretty cool, it won't drop any lower. So I'm gonna put my finger onto this and then I'm gonna start tightening that up. Now before I go to do the actual smash, because that's all we're doing is basically smashing it, We're going to check out from the top and make sure that 
that pivot point is centered and facing upward. So let's check that out. All right, looking from the top, that looks pretty centered as I step back and I take a look at it. And that pivot point is what you want at 12 o'clock. And you notice my relief is right there and the relief in the washer is resting up against that. It's a little more crucial when we go to do the final tighten. So as I put my five millimeter Allen on this side to hold it in place, I'll make sure that these are properly positioned when I do the final tighten on it. So what you really want to pay attention to is your, is your washer placement. You want it covering as much body as possible. Like I wouldn't try to tighten it here because you can see how offset it is. I want it up against that, just about like that where you're seeing there. So I'll get that situated from top to bottom and then we'll actually tighten it because if I have it all offset to one side, it's not gonna smash both tabs down and there's a possibility I could actually smash the scutcheon on the exterior where you might notice it. Hopefully we don't see that. I have my nut driver on the tent on the bottom. I'm getting this sucker lined up right where I want it. And then we're gonna start tightening that 10 millimeter down on the back side. Now I'm getting it pretty snug now. now. You see nothing's moving now. It's not slicing around. So let's see so you can see what that looks like. You can see I got the 10 millimeter in there, tightening the nut onto my Allen bolt that I have up here. Okay, so right now what I did is I just tighten it down. And I'm keeping an eye on this exterior. If you were doing this on a fresh paint job, this, this bus is old. It's probably been painted for 20 years or so. If you're doing it on a fresh paint job, you really want to be careful because you can dig into soft paint. We don't have that worry right now. So right there, I'm comfortable with it. I've got it nice and tight. Like I said, I'm tightening the back one, I'm tightening the 10 millimeter on the back of the deck foot side. So we're gonna loosen her up, take it all apart now and see how we did. See what we got going on here. So nice and straight and no longer wiggling. So that simple little trick, eight by one, two, five by 30 in length. I got a button head, which makes it a little cleaner on top with a little relief cut and that washer. And now this thing is not gonna be moving anymore on the car. So there you can see the two tabs are now bent back and they're both facing 12 and six o'clock the way they should have been the first time. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and put all four bolts back in there because I'm crazy like that. Better than you found it. That's how you leave it. And we'll give this a good wiping down as well. These top ones are shorter than the bottom ones. Luckily, I got both sizes. That's a deck lift prop. Just fell. Like, we got that dude back in place. Four bolts actually holding it in like it should have been. And our scutcheon. Looks nice and straight. And now it moves without moving the exterior.